Monks have long been considered the epitome of what mankind can actually do at full potential. They rigorously train their bodies, minds, and souls to achieve amazing feats that almost seem impossible to perform. It's hard to believe sometimes that they actually exist and are as real as you and me. From being able to instantly change their body temperature to being absolutely invincible in many different ways, here are 15 superpowers monks have in real life. Number 15. Itigalov Llama a monk started meditating and told people to wake him up in 75 years. This is what happened next. The Russian Buddhist monk called Dashi Dorjo Itigalov Lama is literally driving scientists out of their minds. His request might seem very surreal for people like you and me, but in this devoted Buddhist temple in Siberia, Russia, nobody raised an eyebrow and they followed the orders with scary exactitude. The temple in question is one of the biggest in Russia, and it's located in the undesirable region of Siberia. Itigal of Lama was particularly devout and enlightened, so he went to meditate for seven and a half decades without any human contact or any food or water. After that long period of time, the other monks at the temple went to wake him up as convened beforehand. What they found will blow your mind. Apparently, the monk had died 75 years ago, but his body showed no signs of decay whatsoever. They found the monk still sitting up and with a sweet smile on his face. Some people go so far as to say that Itigal of Lama is still meditating in a deep state of nirvana and that he's still alive, like a sculpture with a conscience. So either the mysterious monk has managed to defy death, or maybe he was so pure in life that his body will never decompose. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Defying Gravity The Shaolin monks are famous worldwide for engaging in superhuman activities, like this monk that nonchalantly walks up an incredibly steep hill without any kind of harness or equipment, while on the other side there's a western person climbing with the ropes and gear. The monk is even barefoot. Amazing! Shaolin monks are Buddhist practitioners and they heavily train in Kung Fu every single day for years since a very young age. That's why they are physically so impressive. They also emphasize meditation and pain endurance. They can even run along walls without any kind of effort. If this isn't defying gravity, then I don't know what is. Just imagine the perfect balance of strength and equilibrium that requires such a mind-blowing exercise. They're almost not human, but some kind of delicate flying creature. But in reality, they are extremely strong and sturdy. It takes a lot of force to defy gravity like that. And being lightweight and powerful truly is a feat. Number 13. Superhuman Strength There are almost 8 billion people on this earth of ours, and most of us, including me, can't even do a push-up, let alone a pull-up. But the incredible Shaolin monks can not only do these without any kind of effort, they can also do a push-up with just two fingers. Imagine how much that would hurt without proper training. But don't be fooled by the nonchalant display of finger strength this monk is doing. They actually train for years to have fingers as strong as iron. They first punch a bowl full of sand for hours on end during the early years. Then they move up to finger punch a tree trunk. And you can actually see the holes in the wood left by the finger punches. Some of them are as deep as five inches. They are so incredibly strong, they can throw a simple sewing needle through glass. This trick requires an immense mind and muscle coordination as the needle needs to be traveling at outstanding speed and it has to hit the glass at exactly 90 degrees. The result is so precise that only a hole big enough for the needle is created without shattering the glass. Number 12. Fearlessness 
Monks don't only train their bodies, but their minds as well. They engage in heavy exercises to teach their brains how to control fear. They certainly feel fear like any other living thing on Earth, but they can take full control of it. I mean, look at this monk sitting on a pool of pure oil placed directly on top of a huge open fire. It definitely takes a lot of guts to do that. The image of being cooked alive doesn't seem to be able to enter his mind at all. If the superhero movies have taught us anything, it's that being able to control fear is as important as being strong, if not more. This is an outstanding ability that very few people manage to master, and they do so only after years of very intensive training and pain endurance exercises. Lack of fright and courage have always been closely linked, and after all, the only thing we are really frightened of is pain. So controlling one means to control the other, but it sounds easier than it really is in real life. Number 11. Insane Endurance Buddhist monks also excel in endurance. In October 2015, Kogen Kamahori from the Tendai sect performed a nine-day ritual known as the Doiri. But this isn't just an ordinary ritual. During the long nine days, the monk didn't drink water, eat food, or even sleep. He didn't even lie down once. I bet you wish you could do this when that deadline for your homework approaches. This ritual is so extremely hard to endure that Kogen Kamahori is the first person to attempt in eight years and only the 13th monk since 1945. The 41-year-old enlightened monk had to train for seven years to be able to perform the doiri. As a part of this training called the 1,000-day walk, he had to circumnavigate on foot a holy mountain in the south of Japan for 1,000 non-consecutive days. Most people get cranky after one bad night of sleep and a missed meal, so just imagine the inner strength it takes to meditate and pray for over a week without without sleeping or lying down. Number 10. Walking on Water Apparently, Jesus Christ wasn't the only one that could perform the miracle of walking on water. The Shaolin monks from the Chenzhou Temple can do it too, and no tricks involved. Granted, it took them six attempts to manage to sprint across the water without falling in, but they managed to get it on camera nonetheless. The technique used to perform this incredible trick is called light body kung fu, and it basically means that these monks can literally make their bodies behave like if they were much more lightweight than they actually are. Sound confusing? Well, that's because it sounds impossible, but in reality, it can be done. Here's the proof. The record holder on this technique is currently Shi, and he uses very very thin plywood planks floating in the water like a bridge. Each plank is no thicker than one centimeter. Now, that might look like cheating and like he's actually just walking on a small bridge, therefore he isn't technically walking on water. But the point of this performance is to manage to make one's body lighter, and that is exactly what she achieves. He runs on water for a whopping 18 meters. And if you think it's easy, we invite you to try it yourself. Then you'll see just how extraordinary she really is. Number 9. Balls of Steel for all the boys out there, you all know how sensitive the crotch area can be and how much pain you can feel if they're handled the wrong way. Now, imagine actually training your balls, basically hitting them time after time to manage to make them more shielded from physical pain. Sounds like torture, right? Well, that is exactly what some monks undergo, willingly. The technique they used is called Iron Crotch Kung Fu, and it is exactly as painful as it sounds. They basically hit each other's balls repeatedly every single day for years. I mean, no thank you. But the results are actually quite amazing. They become completely immune to pain down there, to the point that if you hit them with a brick with full force, they'll feel it, of course, but it won't hurt them. And I know all the men and boys would love to have this superpower, especially the ones that have little brothers. They can even tie a really heavy weight around their balls and just lift it like it's nothing. You have to admit, this is incredibly impressive. Considering that the crotch is one of the most vulnerable parts of men's bodies, for close combat and wrestling, this is an invaluable asset. Number 8. Adjusting the Body Temperature 
Imagine being able to control and adjust your own body temperature to the point you'd be a walking fridge slash oven. Well, it is very real and possible. The Tibetan Buddhist monks use this technique daily. Tibet is in northern India and the temples there are in extremely high altitudes, where the weather can be quite rough and ice cold, where being able to rise your body temperature isn't just a cool trick, it could save your life more times than one. So the monks there train rigorously in a technique called Tummo, which basically transforms you into a human thermostat. And they get so good at it, they could dry a water-soaked sheet placed on their shoulders. The sheet was dipped in 49 degree water, and after a while of being at the meditating monk's shoulders, it literally started steaming. Any other untrained person would just have naturally started shivering from the utter cold, but not the Buddhist monk. His body just adapts and starts generating so much heat, it starts drying up the sheet. Number 7. Low Metabolism Although everyone's dream nowadays is to be able to eat as much as they want and not get fat, being able to survive with very little food is a quality that can prove to be extremely valuable, especially in remote places where food is scarce and even in the event of war or a natural disaster. Needing little to eat is much more valuable to survive than being able to eat whatever you want, and apparently it's possible to train your own body to slow down your metabolism to the point that you even need less oxygen to survive. For decades, scientists considered that the allegations that Buddhist monks could slow down their metabolism at will were considered as exaggerations. But after conducting several scientific studies on the monks, it turns out they were not exaggerations at all, as they discovered and proved they can do exactly that. I know a lot of people that would love to have that ability. No more nasty diets, just make yourself less hungry. But in all seriousness, the monks are capable of slowing down their metabolism because of spiritual reasons. It is a cleansing of the body and of the mind. Number 6. Fast Like a Bullet it's known worldwide that Buddhist monks are very fast, but just how fast are they? Well, some people say they are as fast as a bullet. Their movements are so extremely rapid that it's quite impossible to follow their fists when they're training, almost like Neo from the movie The Matrix. They are precise and deadly. They train rigorously every day for years without ever stopping or having a sick day, and the result is mind-blowing. They can literally move faster than what a human eye can follow. Your brain gets confused about what you're seeing as their movements and gestures can be so unbelievably rapid. They almost look not human, but rather like a delicate and elusive insect. Imagine trying to catch the wings of a fly in motion. These monks are of similar talent. It's no wonder why the mainstream world, such as the rappers of the Wu-Tang Clan, are so obsessed with the Shaolin Buddhist monks. They might just be the fastest human beings in the world. They say that Superman's faster than a speeding bullet, but Shaolin monks are real-life superheroes. Number 5. Invincibility We've established that Shaolin monks are like superheroes. They're certainly the strongest and most invincible human beings out there. And that's because of their extreme training that they start very early in their lives. Since they're little boys, they wake up very early when it's still night out and they train every single day without exception. They train each part of their bodies meticulously, and the result is simply a group of invincible men. They can crack a solid brick with their bare hands and punch a hole in a tree trunk with their fingers. They also perform a technique daily called the Iron Shirt, where they strike each other with such force that their muscles become like pure steel over time. So it is impossible to hurt a Shaolin monk. They can't be defeated. These monks also practice lying down balanced on spearheads, which trains their body to be invulnerable to piercing wounds. They also harden their own skull by hitting their heads daily for years and years until the bone in their skull is so incredibly strong they can literally break hard objects with it. They even train their throats. Being one of the most fragile and exposed parts of the body, they also hit it repeatedly until it can withstand any blow. Number 4. Throw a needle through a pane of glass. 
Imagine being so talented and precise in your movements that you can literally throw a tiny little needle through a thick pane of glass. That is exactly what the Shaolin Buddhist monks can do. In order for the needle to actually pierce a hole through the hard glass, they have to throw it at almost the speed of a bullet. And for further proof, they place a balloon on the other side just to make sure that when it pops, you know the needle made it all the way through the glass. This ultra-fast trick is much more impressive than it looks, and it looks quite impressive as it is. The secret of this exercise is to hit the glass with the pointy side of the needle at the fastest speed possible, all while maintaining a perfect 90-degree angle. The amount of concentration and mind-muscle coordination that this feat requires is outstanding, yet the Shaolin monks make it look easy. Their movement is so precise that the needle creates a hole just big enough for it to pass through the glass. There isn't even a hint of shattering, just the perfectly shaped, tiny little hole. Number 3. Inverse Handstand with Just One Index Finger Handstands are already hard enough as it is, but imagine being able to do an inversion handstand on two extended fingers. Now that is insane. But it is real too, and the Shaolin monks do them every day, no sweat. To perform this amazing feat of strength, they train very hard for years and years. For Shaolin monks, the most important body part, their main weapon, so to speak, is their hands. So they train them relentlessly every single day until the nerve endings in their fingertips simply die off and their hands become as hard as an actual rock. They start by punching ice cold water for hours, then they move up to finger punching a bowl filled with sand. And finally, they train by finger punching tree barks. And their fingers get so strong, they can easily punch a hole through the bark. And that's how they end up having such amazingly resistant fingers that allow them to do such an impressive index inverted handstand. But the amazement doesn't end there. They can also balance themselves on just one single finger. Number 2. Iron Skull so one of the most important organs in our bodies is obviously the brain, and that's why the bone that's around it to protect it is so hard and strong, the skull. But when it comes to close combat, the head is always very vulnerable. One hard blow on the head and a person can pass out. That's why soldiers always wear a very high-tech protection helmet and also athletes in many high-risk sports. But the Shaolin monks, they don't have a need for helmets at all. And that's because they basically train their skull to harden. How do they achieve that? Well, they just hit their heads over and over throughout several years to simply toughen up the bones. They start on the softer side. The first step is to bang their head against a bag of sand. After that, they move up to wooden planks, and then finally, the last and most difficult step is, of course, iron. Hence the name of the practice, the Iron Skull. And their skulls end up being so insanely strong that not even an electric drill can penetrate it. And even after holding the drill straight to their head for over 10 seconds, there's not even a tiny little scratch on their skin. And that means that the Iron Skull practice also hardens the skin. Number 1. The Monk Pillar Skill This is an incredibly difficult skill to have. The Monk Pillar Skill requires insane core and leg strength, and also full body balance as well. And these two combined at the same time are extremely difficult to perform. The exercise involves standing on two wooden pillars with one foot on each pillar, and they then proceed to sit in a squatting pattern. So far so good, anybody can do that. But well, if you think that, you would be very wrong. Because these amazing Shaolin Buddhist monks can hold that posture for hours on end. And it doesn't end there either. In some cases, the most advanced and strong monks can perform this exercise holding two heavy bowls filled to the rim with water and a third one on their head. This means they have to be extraordinarily still or the bowl of water would fall to the ground and break. So they have to be incredibly strong and also keep perfect balance for two long hours. Now that can't be done by just anybody. Sometimes to add drama to this practice, they even place a very pointy and sharp bamboo stick right underneath the monk. 
I don't know about you, but I had no idea a human being could do such amazing feats. It almost defies the laws of science. In any way you look at the Shaolin monks, they all have the perfect qualities of a superhero in real life. But they do have to train extremely hard, though. Would you go through such a commitment to become as strong as them? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time.